Next, I want to talk about delivery count. So at the time of queue creation, there is a one property which you can set how many times you can try to want to deliver a message before it will automatically go into dead letter queue. So at the time of this queue creation, we have set the max delivery count is three. And here's the option if you want, you can change it. And minimum should be one and maximum you can keep 2000. But I don't want to change it from three. So I will see what happens when it reaches the max delivery count. So let me go back to the code. And in this code, I will remove all the processor related things. What I will do, I'll just make it very simple. I'll create a receiver here. And in this, we have to pass the queue name. And then we have to receive this message. Receiver dot receive message asynchronously. That's it. And what I will do here is I'm going to do One not so good way, I'll just try to loop it for three times. And here I will just say, oh, for example. Okay, so first we will create the connection, we will send the message, and then we will create a receiver, and then we will try to read that message. And I'll just put a debugger here, and let me just run it and see what happens. Okay, so it has hit the debugger point. Let me go back and let me go back to the service bus explorer and see. So there's the one message. Let me go and see. And right now there's a delivery count zero and the message is learning about queues. That is what we are trying to send here is learning about queues. Now let's see what happens. Let me press F10. And let me go back and just refresh it out. Week from start, delivery count is increased. Now let's see. I'll just loop it completely. Let me just remove this debugger here. And let me go back now. The execution is completed. Let me just refresh it. Now, week from start, this delivery count is two. I think still it is running. <laughs> So what happens here is whenever we are trying to read, there will be a lock. By default, it will try to lock the message for 30 seconds. So we have to wait for some time to see what exactly happens. So the execution is completed. Let me go back and just try to refresh it out here. And if you see, there is no message left and automatically there is a message increased in the led delta queue let me go and start and try to see from there and if you see a message learning about queues is there and the reason is max delivery count exceeded message could not be consumed before it exceeds the delivery count cool so this is the use of the delivery count in the service bus cool